Right, Erkin in the house. Some monochromatic thoughts. So, first on the formula, I packed the Mac mode. Um, yeah, so, uh, currently vibing out the day after Christmas. Um, so some uh, fun thoughts. First and foremost, Helm Street Bakeries. Feel like <laughs> living my life in the. Uh, feel like my life is a film noir film. Yeah, it's so nice. Day after Christmas, Bob and I. Okay, so the the first thought, first thought, first thought. Um, it looks like the benefit of actually. Okay, so recording this on a Lumix G9, uh, what 1080p, 30 FPS. Uh, what the. Um, the what Panasonic Lumix 14 millimeter 2.5 spherical pancake. <laughs> the only lens to buy is the pancakes. Is a, I call it the flapjack pancake. Called the IHOP. Called the IHOP uh, photo lifestyle. So uh, photographers, uh, the only really good lens to get is the pancake lenses. I think even Leica has like what the 28 millimeter pancake is a. Uh, Looks uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, that should be the only one to get. Um, yeah, so thinner, slimmer, skinnier is better. Um, even being here in LA, uh, it still does seem that the best car. Okay, so I saw a dude in Beverly Hills, right? Driving on road. Yeah, it's super interesting. Um, this is the new image Tesla Model 3 Performance with full self driving seems to be the best car to have in LA, so I uh, saw a successful looking dude uh, just chilling in his uh, Tesla Model 3 performance in white and he's like, <laughs> the car's driving itself, he don't have no hands on the wheel, self-driving itself through the traffic and he's like doing some work on his phone or something like that. And it's super interesting because, um, you know, still in praise of the Tesla Model 3, um, <laughs> it's like skinny, 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 skinny is the, the joke I always do. So in LA, which is the best place to live in America, in my opinion, um, the secret of virtuous living in LA is actually, uh, you gotta strategize your life in such a way that you could have a 100% pedestrian lifestyle. And if you're gonna drive to the park, it's just a five minute drive away. Even from uh, Culver to Beverly Hills Radio Drive, it's only like a 10, 11, 12 minute drive. It's actually, uh, pretty good so uh yeah culver city culver city's uh arts district is good i mean uh yeah just just rent it's fine um and i'll often tell cindy this is that like uh the only one thing that's certain in life is that we're not gonna live nowhere forever so it seems like maybe the best strategy to, to live life is, uh, yeah, just plan your life as if you're not gonna live in one place uh, forever. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. But, um, yeah, but anyways, so, <laughs> so some, uh, some morning thoughts. Uh, follow the founder, not the thing. MDC Brightness 80. Hmm, this I could go best in this. Um, yes, yeah, so. MCD. Hmm. Um, Cybertruck looks like it's taking over. I mean, I think for me, like I've always been passionate about cars, right? I think Cybertruck is like the most interesting car of all time. Even Cindy's dad pre ordered one. Like, <laughs> he don't even have that much money. It's like, he just bought. A brand new Tesla Model Y, what the dual motor range there was a drop 70, 80 Gs on it, right? He's just doing, doing monthly payments. And then he just pre ordered a Cybertruck, right? Also mid range of what, another 80, 85,000. So uh, I call it the Cindy's Dad Index, right? Like, just look at how Cindy's Dad is purchasing things and buying behaviors. And it's a good indicator of. Uh, 
goodness. Oh yeah. Is Eric Kim the next Steve Jobs? Yes I am. Where have all the real innovators gone? The city ain't black no more, about as black as Mac Love More. To quote, yeah, okay, so, um, yeah, uh, so some more cover thoughts. Uh, you can smell, bad smell. You can smell the streets, then it's a good street photograph. Actually, it's so funny, it's like, the things you can't see on Zillow and stuff like that on Google Maps. <laughs> can't see how a neighborhood smells or feels. Uh, so it's, it's, it's good, it's good. Um, Wait. So apparently Achilles had a son. <laughs> had no idea, right? Just uh, this is where ChatGPT's is amazing. Oh yeah, look at this. Wait. It's so cool. Wait. Um, Yeah, apparently he, uh, <laughs> the story goes. So apparently the, sto the, the story goes, uh, it was predicted that Achilles would die in the Trojan War. So his mom, Thesis, uh, demi, or goddess, right? His dad is a, a mere mortal, right? Um, hit him, pretended like he was a woman in the court of did it, and then he ended up, you know, just like betting one of the, one of the daughters in the, the courtyard and uh, so you know I got a son or Kim has a son the son of EK is Seneca Kim gonna be the the new goat and it's kind of interesting because uh, I think it is the the, the deep desire of every single man to have at least one son, at least one male heir. Uh, so you typically see this with families, right? See a family with three or four daughters, five daughters, six daughters. It's a sign that they wanted a boy and they couldn't have one, they just got tired and they just kind of gave up, right? What actually is more interesting to me is if a, uh, a family has the first child and the first child is a son or a boy, right? Or man. And then they decide to have another kid or several more. Then actually it's really a sign that they, they really care and love the kids. Actually, I know this one family, they have four or five boys. And then the, the mom wanted to shoot for a six because she wanted a girl. So I'm like, yeah, that's like a, yeah, the r real moms. Um, yeah. EK, EK in the house. Um, so, so yeah, that's an interesting thing uh, to consider. Um, but anyways, so the reason I bring this up is, uh, it's like, son did it. And like, what is the significance of having a son? Yeah, I love it here. I don't want to leave LA. Um, yeah, check out Margot, the restaurant on top. In LA, tell them that Eric Kim sent you on top of the hills. It's uh, pretty, pretty lit. Um, great view. It's like <laughs> the best thing. Okay, my favorite thing when I go to a restaurant, you go to a fancy restaurant. Check out the bathrooms. Is the first thing I'm passionate about because if they put good design into the bathrooms, like they did at Margot, it's like a wabi sabi, like pieces of granite, stone, <laughs> water. It's like. Just like a huge chunk of marble or granite or stone as the washing basin. It's so, so effing wobby. So if I designed my own house, it would essentially look like kind of like a, kind of like a cave um, with a floor to ceiling windows. Um, and uh, oh yeah, so Achilles apparently had a son, right? And I was also I was kind of curious, just like what is the role of father and son relationships in like ancient Greek mythologies? And um, 
So some uh, thoughts. First and foremost, uh, Hector and his brother um, Paris. So Paris is seen as the degenerate kind of, you know, playboy, effeminate, you know, chasing tail, etc. Hector is the virtuous one. Hector is like so embarrassed of uh, Paris. And also I think Paris is just an archer, which means that like he's kind of a C-O-W-A-R-D. Good morning. Um, he's, the, he's the coward of the family and he's like an archer, right? And apparently the reason why the, they did this thing, right, is that the archers go chop off their fingers, right, to uh, give them uh, flipping the bird. So uh, yeah, archers are c c c c cowards. Even nowadays, like people with guns, you got a gun, you got concealed. Da -da. Use a coward. Real men do not use guns. Real men use our fists and our knees and our elbows. Muay Thai. Actually, my thought is, you know, <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna mug somebody or beat someone up, right? It has to be a street fight. It has to be a fist fight. Just arms, elbows, fists, knees, nose. Actually, even the thing I don't like about like the samurai, samurai swords, stuff like that, like everyone just using samurai swords, right? It's like, what else, right? Like, that's where I think it's more interesting to do, what, MMA or Muay Thai or something like that. It's kind of an even, even kill fight. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think if you consider things, you take the world's best UFC fighter, man, against the world's best UFC fighter female, uh, no contest. You could even probably take a mediocre, actually this is a fun thought, I need to talk to some fighters about this, right? If you took a low level UFC male fighter against the world's best UFC female fighter who would win, uh, kind of similar thing, right? But anyways, um, so yeah, it looks like battle, war, fighting, conquest, is kind of the, the realm of men. And like one thing that's been on my mind too is like, what do you want to be or what do you want to become? So everyone says you want to be king, emperor, it is actually uh, being a king and emperor is kind of more of a modern day notion. You don't want to be an emperor. I mean, emperor is a kind of a, also kind of a modern day notion like the emperor's handbook, uh, Marcus Aurelius. I mean, the last good emperor, right? But still, you don't want to be an emperor. It's just uh, <laughs> too much stress, too much headache. Um, probably better to be an Achilles or a Hector. I think they're both they're both good role models. So Achilles, Hector, you know, I guess that Hector also had a son. Um, but uh, Hector is interesting because he has love for his son. And oh yeah, okay, so I was talking about this, right? Wabi Sabi. Oh, look at that. Look at that <laughs> super wabi sabi Zen faucet. Look, this is a little little chunk of marbles, right? So funny, it's like if you wanna return back to the naturalistics, look at that wabi sabi. Look at that picture frame. Why is it like missing a hole there? That's kind of uh so effing zen, right? So uh so wabi sabi. But anyways, so um uh yeah, so, so going back to the... So anyways, yeah, like, uh, had a big family party that day, as they do. And it's like, what is it that, like, people want or desire or mean? And it seems... I should really, like... Oh, actually, shout out to, uh... What is this place called? Juliet. Had dinner here with Cindy. Get the duck cigars, super lit. Uh, shout out to my friend, uh, Irving. Um, and yeah, so... Essentially, 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 uh, yeah, aesthetics are super critical. Um, uh, some chocolate cake. Yeah, so, like, what do people want? They want, like, I don't know, they want respect, they want renown, they want, like, legitimacy. Um, even, like, the notion of patriarch is kind of a modern day notion and it's like especially in asian american asian east asian confucian cultures korean vietnamese etc it's like definitely a notion of patriarch is that the man wants to be the head honcho the man wants to be seen with respect everyone has to stand up and say hello and bye and whatevs